All right, so we're probing out a privy or a trash pit. So this is my privy probe. It's the end on it. Homemade spring steel. Sorry, I'm actually a little bit out of breath. Anyway, you see what we're finding in here. Lots of uh, old pottery. Let's see if I can get this piece out here. It's plain white stuff. But a lot of this feathered edge. I found a spoon bowl, and look at this, just popped out. Pewter. So I think this might have been a trash pit. Could be the privy. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to keep digging. All right, so we got some of it dug out. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot. We got some colonial iron uh, forks, pewter spoon, a bunch of pottery shards. There's some nicer stuff here too. Some big pieces of that feathered ware. But yeah. So we've come to the conclusion that it's probably not a privy, but more than likely a trash pit, or there was something else here at one point. So we're going to keep going, and uh, you never know, we might hit a privy here. The, uh, the cellar is right there. Anyway, we're going to keep at her. All right, got our first bottle shard. That's a big one. Look how deep that is. The whole thing could be down there. It's not new brakes, obviously. It's an old brake. But that's old. You can see the imperfections in the glass. Look at the size of that thing. That was a massive wine bottle or something. All right. So we just moved over here. About a foot down, maybe a foot and a half, there's a clay layer. And it's uh, consistent the whole way. So far, we've dug probably a six foot by five foot hole here. So uh, it's either the site of a shed or maybe the original house, but we're pulling some rosehead nails. So we're, we're in an old spot. So we're gonna keep going and see what else we can find. All right, so some more stuff here. Lots of pieces of bean pot, uh, some colonial, like a colonial knife down there. And lots and lots of pottery. So we're starting to fill back in. Uh, working our way this way here. And see if we can get anything else. That guy's a machine. Alright, we got this thing. It's heavily gold gilt. Not sure what it is. It's kind of got teeth on that edge. Really cool design. It hung off of something. I'll clean it up when we get home. See what it is. All right, so a couple more things came out. We have a ball, kind of a ball button here. Shank's still on it. And a piece of clay pipe. So there's stuff. I'm just going through the tailings now. And uh, once we get this dug back and that dug back, then we'll dig a little further that way. See what else we get. Beautiful day today. Sun is shining, few clouds in the sky. May get a shower, but we'll dig through it. Hey guys, check this out. Bam. Colonial dinnerware knife, bone handle. Gorgeous. I just nicked it with the shovel. I didn't even know it was in there. That's cool. I hit it twice with the shovel. I guess it would have been kind of pristine if I didn't hit it. That's cool. All right, in this hole I had a really choppy signal 
and it sounded terrible. I'm running um, Park One on the Equinox. Um, my recovery is at two, iron bias is at one. Anyway, it sniffed this out. We've been over this a ton of times. And it's either a coin or a button. That's a coin. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry about that. I didn't even have you in the frame. I was too busy staring at it because I don't recognize it. Let me clean it up. Okay, well, it's a one half penny token. You can see it pretty clear on that side. That would be a harp on that side. I think these are like 1810 to 1815, somewhere in that area. Well, anyway, it's a copper. All right, this one was 16, 17. I got another coin here. No, I don't. I have a silver gilt flat button. It's a good thing it flipped this way. Actually, that's kind of... Oh, no, it is. Let's look at the shank. Stretch straight out. But watch when I give this a wipe. You can see the silver gilt coming through that. It'll be pretty once it's cleaned up. Cool.